Today I want to show you one of our exciting new products. It's our EM229 Hybrid Planetary Gear Set Trainer. Now this product has been designed to help you teach virtually any serious parallel hybrid system from virtually any vehicle. Now for the purposes of this video, we're always going to refer to the internal combustion engine as an engine, and we're going to refer to the motors as motor generators. These are the electric motors in the system. Now on the product we have five discrete components. We have the internal combustion engine, which is represented here. We have a drive handle, a shaft that is red, and it's connected to the red components here. We have the drive wheels, which are represented here. Now, up until this point, everyone should be following me. These are things that we know very well. Between the internal combustion engine and the drive wheels, however, is very different than on a regular car, because we now have what's called a power split device, and then we have two electric motors. We have one here that's called motor generator one, it's a smaller one, and then we have the second one which is called motor generator two. Now each of these electric motors can be turned by a handle here for MG1 and if we look for MG2 we have a handle off to the side here. So now let's get a little bit more in depth with each one of the components. We'll start with the drive wheels because the drive wheels are something that are common to all vehicles. If we look, we have the drive wheels here with a handle. The front of the vehicle is labeled and identified here. So if we rotate the drive wheels this direction, the vehicle will advance. If we rotate the vehicles this direction, the vehicle will reverse. Now you'll notice right away that no matter what I do, when I rotate the wheels, everything else rotates as well. This is because on a serious parallel hybrid system, we have the drive wheels, which are continuously connected at all times with the planetary gear set. Now, in real life, this could be a chain, this could be a set of gears. The principle stays the same. For our product, we have used a chain. Now let's take a look at the internal combustion engine. We have it located here. We can turn it with the handle. Now remember, if you follow the arrow, the internal combustion engine is only ever going to rotate in one direction. You'll see the shaft that goes through here, which is red. You'll, you'll notice the shaft passes through MG2 to get through to the planetary gear set, and it's attached to the planet carrier. So here, let's turn the engine. Here we have the motor generator number one, which we've called MG1. We can turn it using the handle here and it is represented here with the color green. Now you'll notice this continues through on the same shaft to the green gear at the center of the planetary gear set, which is the sun gear. Last but not least, we have MG2. Now you'll notice MG2 is directly connected to the planetary gear set. It is, in fact, connected to the internal or ring gear. But you'll notice that's also connected to the wheels. So any time the wheels are turning, MG2 is turning. And any time MG2 is turning, the wheels are turning. Now you'll notice that MG2 is around the shaft for the internal combustion engine. So if we put a handle here, it would be very unwieldy. What we did for demonstration purposes is we put a drive chain off to the side with a handle here. So this allows us to turn MG2 independently of the internal combustion engine. Now that we've looked at each of the components individually, let's bring it all together in the planetary gear set where the magic really happens. Now, we have three main components in the planetary gear set. We have the sun gear at the center, which is green, which is connected to our MG1. We have the planet carrier, which is red, which is connected to our internal combustion engine. And then we have the blue internal or ring gear, which is connected to both our drive wheels and to MG2. Now, each one of these three components can be an input, a reactionary member, or an output, depending on the drive mode that we're using. Now, let's take a look at one of the simplest drive modes. If we get in the vehicle and the batteries are fully charged, we're probably not going to want to use the internal combustion engine. So let's leave the internal combustion engine off. I'm going to hold it here. What we're going to do is we're going to drive the vehicle using the large electric motor, MG2, which is direct connected to the wheels. With the engine running at a fixed RPM, if MG1 is spinning faster, the wheels do not move. If 
If I start slowing down MG1, we start accelerating. If I slow down some more, we're gonna speed up. If I stop MG1 and now change directions, we're gonna have a varied output and now we can bring the wheels up to high speed. As you have seen, the Constlab Hybrid Planetary Gear Set Trainer, EM229, can make your life easier as a teacher and make it easier for your students to understand complex hybrid series parallel systems. To find out more about our products, visit constlab.com or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.